All right, let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Oh. 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 oh, that was amazing. Oh, my finger. Let's go. Oh. I don't think it's supposed to bend that way. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh. Hey, bro, you'll be okay, but did you see that shot? I mean, we make the dream team. That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice shot. Oh, the I wish Landon could be more athletic like you. Your dad must be so proud of you. Uh, hello? I'm in a lot of pain here. I seriously think I might have broken my finger, guys. Oh, come on and man up, Landon. Why can't you be more like your friend Nathan here? But, Dad, it hurts really bad, okay? Landon, quit it and get up. Let's go. No, I'm sorry, bud. Well, I when we get home. Okay. Oh, uh, boo-hoo. Let's go, kiddos. You know, this is just like him. It's like he doesn't even care about me and just because, what, I'm not athletic? Don't say that, okay? Of course he cares. He's, he's your dad. Please, he cares about you more than he does about me. And you're not even his son. It's, it's messed up. Look. I'm sorry you feel that way, but maybe we can run some drills, you know? Help you get your game up. You'll get better, all right? You just need to practice. It's not the point, but whatever. Just forget it, okay? Regardless, I'm happy you're here, man. You're always helping me out when I'm feeling down. Yeah, I mean, I know it's only been a few weeks since you moved into town, but you know, it feels like I've known you for my whole life. Honestly, you're like a brother to me. Brothers for life. Good life. All right, boys, you guys ready for a good Thanksgiving lunch? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my dad makes the best pies. It's, it's kind of his thing. Yeah, Nathan, you got to try it. You're going to love it. Yeah, I can't wait, Mr. Williams. No, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for inviting me to your Thanksgiving celebration. Nathan, you're welcome. You don't even need to say thanks. You're practically my second son. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're family. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, I got one coconut water left. Nathan, I think you should take it. Uh, you deserve it. What, what do you, you mean you didn't get it for me? You know that's my favorite. Landon, you barely even worked out today. If anyone deserves it, it's Nathan. He was throwing down dunks like LeBron out there. No, no, no. It's okay, Mr. Williams. You can give it to Landon. I'm good. I mean, I'll take it. Ow! Guys, seriously, I think I broke my finger. I can't even hold that bottle. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, that game, that game was pretty good, you know? Whoa! Nathan, oh my goodness, are you okay? Bro. You all right? Does it hurt? Yeah, yeah, it hurts a little bit, but uh, I'll be okay. I don't get it. So my finger's been on the verge of amputation for an hour. And you don't say or do anything, you don't care, but Nathan takes a spill and it's all about him? Landon, you have got to be the most dramatic person I know. Could you have some courtesy for a change? You think about someone else other than yourself for once? Guys, it's fine. Okay, look, I'm good as new and there's no need to worry. No, forget it. I'll just go to my room. Because clearly it's all about Nathan. Which newsflash, Dad, he's not your son. I am! I'm so sorry, Nathan. Look, why don't you just relax here, and I'm gonna go talk to him. Yeah, yeah, no worries. But uh, I just wanna say thank you, you know, for everything. You don't need to thank me. I got you. <laughs> well, thanks anyways. Doesn't that love me? Am I really that hard to love? I wish you were here, Mom. What?
do you want? <sighs> Landon. What has gotten into you? What do you mean? Are you really that oblivious? You don't think it has something to do with the fact that you've been favoring Nathan this entire time? Even though you've only known him a couple months. Is it, is it the fact that he's taller? More athletic? Is that what it is? I'm just not, I'm not a cool enough son for you? Every time you two hang out, it's like a party between the two of you. Meanwhile, I feel left out, isolated. Landon, you know that's not true. Come on. You are my son. You know I love you and care about you so much. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for giving Nathan so much attention, okay? Look, he's new here and I want to make sure he feels accepted and wanted. I promise. I love you. I know sometimes I just have a little tough love, okay? I'm working on it, all right? Oh, don't, don't give me that. Because it sure doesn't feel like it. Look at my finger. It's, it's practically purple and you just brush me off. Oh my gosh! Landon! Careful. I, I, I seriously thought it wasn't that injured. Oh, well, nice of you to notice, finally. We need to go to the doctor now. Oh, you think? Look, let's not be so dramatic, okay? Dad, my finger could very well be broken right now. Do not call me dramatic. Come on, let's go. Hey, bud, I'm gonna take Landon to the doctor real quick. Uh, you're welcome to hang out here. Just make yourself at home, okay? Oh, uh, I'll just come with you. <sighs> no, 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 no. Uh, he's he's a little emotional right now. Oh. It's probably best if you stay. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I'll just chill here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if only they knew who I really was. I just don't know how they'd react. Maybe I cook them something and then break the news to them. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Nathan spends the afternoon cooking up something for Rob and Landon. He hopes his cooking will ease the tension around the major secret he's about to reveal. What could he be hiding? Especially with Rob's picture in his wallet. It smells amazing in here. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Well, I made you guys a pie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. What if, what if it'll beat yours out? No one beats my pies. Yeah, I just wanted to do something for you guys for treating me like a family. It's really nice. Of course, Nathan. You're always welcome here, and you're practically family. Yeah, man. Well, there's actually something I want to tell the both of you. Well, whatever it is, it's going to have to wait till after pie. <laughs> it's actually kind of serious. Oh my gosh, is it okay? You're not dying, are you? No, I'm not dying. <sighs> Mr. Williams, you are my father. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, what? You see, I had always thought that my dad abandoned me as a child. Then one day I saw a picture in my mom's closet of you and her back in high school. So I decided to do some research and I found out you guys lived here in Oakmont. Also when I decided that I would apply for colleges out here. And when I finally saw you and Landon from a distance, I realized you probably didn't abandon me. I mean, you're such an amazing father to Landon, and he probably just didn't know you had another son. Dad, 
You were married to someone before mom? Oh my goodness. Ed? Your mother and I were dating, and then she stopped talking to me out of nowhere. She moved away abruptly. I didn't even know what happened. I didn't even know she was pregnant. Well, she didn't want to burden you with the news, so she ran away. I am speechless. Nathan, we're half-brothers. But I guess that explains a lot why we got along so well and got close so quickly. And I'm sure Dad here feels the same. I do. And Nathan, I'm so sorry you had to grow up without a father. Now I feel terrible. You don't need to, okay? I mean, you didn't know. What's in the past is in the past. And we shouldn't worry about that when the future's ahead of us. That is such a positive way of looking at things. Nathan, I want you to know that you are so loved and you are part of this family now. And I just look forward to the chance to, to make things right. I just didn't want to spend another Thanksgiving feeling like I didn't have a father. And now I have so many things to be grateful for and I'm just glad that I'm here spending it with you guys. My long lost family. <laughs> Welcome home, brother. Thank you. Come here, guys. <laughs> Life really has a way of bringing people back together. <laughs> I am thankful today for not just one son, but for two. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you too, Dad. Love you too, Dad. <laughs> hey, Little Bleep fam. Thank you for watching that video. At Illumably, our mission is to bring light back into the world. And with you, there, there is, is nothing, nothing we can, can do. do. Thank you for watching, everyone. And, and I'll we'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, I was supposed to say that. Oops. See you next time.